Hey, what's going on? So, just had a couple minutes just sitting here in the car, um, just waiting at the moment. And I thought to myself, maybe I should make a just brief video just trying to explain myself and my recent content to fairly new subscribers. Um, uh, so, the big question is, you're probably thinking after the last uh, video I made and all the shorts that followed it is, what is this? What is this weird, fake video. This isn't like anything that I've seen before on your channel and this isn't what I subscribe to. Okay, I understand. Let me tell you, the sad reality of YouTube in 2024 is that it has competition now. And it's, I mean, it's, sadly, it's all been ruined by one major particular app. We all know what that one is. Ever since TikTok came out, and TikTok made popular short-form content, well, it just made it easier for people to, you know, put deceiving content, bad content. Not to say all shorts are deceiving, not to say all short-form content's bad. Some of it's actually really good, and I've actually learned to like consuming it myself now that I'm used to it. Um, not to say I watch everything, because there, there really is some bad stuff. Since that came out, it changed everything on how YouTube works. Before, you didn't really have to go to the extent you have to now to get attention. Um, but now it's just, it's, it's so much harder to re get reach, which, you know, to get yourself out there, to get your videos out there so they get views, okay? First and foremost, YouTube for me is a business. I make money making videos. And, you know, while I love making videos about working on my cars and, and sharing knowledge and things that I learn, really good, factual, you know, uh, useful information in my videos, that isn't always rewarded. In fact, that is hardly ever rewarded. You, you basically have to have, to be able to create genuine, uh, uh, honest, what else? What's another good, genuine, honest, you know, content. There's something else I want to put in there, you know, that's not deceiving, that isn't trying hard, that's just real. Like, for me to just be working on my cars and trying to get noticed on YouTube in 2024 will not happen, and I will not grow as a channel if I just do that. I've learned that very early on in my YouTube endeavor, YouTube does not reward creators for um, originality or honesty. I'm sorry, it's just the way of the internet. Thank TikTok for that. Thank Instagram for that. Thank whoever, uh, or Snapchat, whatever. But it is what it is. And sadly, sometimes to get yourself out there, you have to make content like my last video, which isn't the first time I made a video like that. I've made a video of pouring a whole gallon of Marvel Mystery Reel in the tank. I made a video of pouring a whole gallon of Lucas, um, you know, upper cylinder lubricant in the tank. And, you know, this was like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shot. You know, a lot of people actually like, why well, don't you put a gallon of seafoam? And I'm like, <laughs> no, but I'm like, eh, <laughs> that actually might not be a horrible idea for views. Because my views were tapering off a little bit. Uh, my pay has been kind of wonky. And last month really sucked. It's the lowest month I had revenue-wise. Um, so I had to do some. You got to think. You just, you know, if, if you're a business owner, you're not going to be like, okay, I've had a horrible month. Uh, you know, I can't just keep doing this and I'll be out of business by next month. No, no business owner will just let that happen. They always think about, okay, well, what can I do to attract more business? It's the same concept when you're a, a, a video creator. What can we do as video creators to attract more viewers? That's our business. So I know from the from the outside looking in, it doesn't make sense. Because you're like, man, I like this guy. He's doing some cool stuff with his EcoBoost car. Um, or he's got other cool cars. Or he's funny, or whatever it is, whatever made you like me, and then he comes out with this weird off-the-wall, doesn't make any sense 
video who what <laughs> that's why sometimes i have to make these videos to get attention they do work uh you know my views have gone back up uh and and the thing is it brings traffic to my channel because everything originates for me everything originates around youtube okay youtube is my main platform from YouTube, then I make the short form videos of my full length videos. And then I share them on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook. And I'm on X now too, but I don't really focus on that too much. What happens is I make a funnel. So, okay, I share it on those platforms. I put links to my full length YouTube video. Everything I do points back to YouTube. So eventually what happens is those videos, those views that go to, um, you know, whatever, even if it's a goofy video, they'll end up finding my more serious videos. And they're like, oh, and some people get it. They're like, oh, this guy's just being an ass. But he's funny or he's actually got some other good content. Some people understand. Um, some people legitimately think I'm slow up here. Uh, and, you know, that it is it is. I make these videos so that, uh, you know, I can get this attention. Yes, it is purposely done for attention. That's how it works. You do it for the views. You do it for, I don't do it for the likes. Some people are like, oh, he's just, you know, when you, when you go out there and put yourself out there and do something stupid, think people think it's for the clout or for the likes. Like, no, I, I really don't care if people like or don't like what I'm doing. What I care about is if people are viewing that video and I'm getting paid for that view. That's what I care about. So I don't care about if they like it or not. I just care that they look at it, they watch it and engage with it. That's all I care about as a creator. Um, and you, sometimes you have to make polarizing videos to capture that. Especially when you're a small channel and no one knows who the hell you are. You're a really big channel with multi, you know, million subscribers or hundreds of thousands of subscribers. You don't have to try as hard because you already have a subscriber base that's going to watch your content. And typically what I've noticed is 20 to 40 percent of subscribers seem to actually watch the videos they subscribe to. So example, if you are a small channel with 10,000 subscribers, probably only 20% of all those 10,000 subscribers you have are actually going to watch every upload you make. So that's only 2,000 views on a good day. You know, maybe it could be less. It all depends. Uh, same thing if you have a million subscribers and just look at all the really big car YouTuber channels. Look how many subscribers they have versus how many views they get. Unless it's a video that they are trying desperately hard to capture attention. Most of the 1 million subscriber YouTube channels get about, you know, two, three, four hundred thousand views on average per video. So it's just the statistics that come along with this this kind of work, I guess. When you only have 7,000 subscribers like I do, my statistics, my actual analytics are that way less than 20% uh, on average watch my videos, if it's about my car. So in order for me to get that number up and to be able to bring in more people that will see my for real content, I have to make videos like the last one you saw. So don't think that, you know, this guy's just an idiot. He, he, what, I don't understand what he's doing. Just understand that when you see these videos, it's me trying to keep my business alive. It's not easy to be a content creator. It's a highly saturated industry. Everyone's out here to do it. It is so easy. Look, I'm recording this video on my camera, on my phone. I don't even have my GoPro. I don't have any of my other camera equipment. This is on my phone. And this is how easy it is for anyone to make a video nowadays. You literally don't have to have anything special. You just need a phone. You can edit on your phone, record on your phone. It's with you all the time. Upload from your phone anywhere. This is all you need to make content anymore, which makes it so much harder to stay relevant considering that so many people are want to be content creators. Um, it's hard. It's hard to stand out. So I'm trying to 
carve my little groove in in this big world that is content creation and i'm slowly trying to create my own like who is cars creative what is this dude doing is he for real is he a a, a comedy channel is he a car channel is he a idiot <laughs> what is he that's kind of like what i'm going with i'm not really just anything i'm everything so i just wanted to make this to kind of clear some of that up i know some of my you know i've seen the comments i know sometimes you really don't understand for me sometimes i don't understand either i don't i shouldn't i don't feel like i should have to go out of my way to make very disingenuous not you know like i don't really want to have to make viral content to stay relevant but i feel like i need to you know this is not a matter of what i want i have to kind of do what works and like i said youtube does not reward creators for being themselves that's not to say that it doesn't work for me but in order to get people into my channel i have to make videos like the last one it's all about views now that's the, how the algorithm works you have to have views uh views 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 the more views you have the more youtube will recommend videos and that's across the whole channel. So the more views I have coming into, like, let's say the Lucas video or, you know, I mean, even if this uh, Seafoam video takes off, if that brings in a lot of traffic to the channel, then YouTube's going to start recommending other videos of mine. That could be like the build on Buster here or the Fiero or the SHO or the Cobra or any of the two Fox bodies, whatever I've worked on in my channel's history. The chances of those videos getting watched will be greater as long as I have views coming in. If I don't have views coming in, no one sees those videos and my views tank, my revenue tanks, and I'm not a happy cat. So it's just kind of what I have to do to keep things going here. And I just wanted to explain that. So uh, actually, this video is kind of dragged on a lot longer than I thought, but you you get what I'm saying. So, you know... Just have fun, enjoy the videos. You you will already know if the video, what the video is. Like, you know, if you see a video and you start watching it, you, you know if I'm being serious or not. The way I am in those videos is not how I usually am. I will seem a little bit more dull up here. I will seem a little bit more facetious because I am. I'm trying to make it obvious, but not obvious. And um, I even threw a fun little Easter egg in the in the Seafoam video that no one really picked up on. I thought it'd be kind of fun for people to be able to see that. And uh, no one really saw it. So I try to make the videos fun. Even if they're completely irrelevant to anything else I do, they're still supposed to be funny. And I still got plenty more to go. I just haven't had all the time in the world to work on them all. So they're, they're coming. With that said, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. And, um, you know... Just let me know what you're thinking, throw your thoughts in the comments, and I will see y'all in the next video.